Welcome to the Open Foam Tutorials of the University of Birmingham. In this tutorial I will show you the benefits of Open Foam, and some example applications of the software. Finally, I will give you an overview of the contents of all the other tutorials. Why would you choose to use Open Foam? As the name already suggests, Open Foam is open source software. The advantages over other commercial software programs are that Open Foam is free, and therefore you will never have problems with the availability of license codes. You can also inspect, alter, expand on the source code. Additionally, parallel programming can be easily applied in Open Foam. As Open Foam is open source, there is a large, user driven support community. You can easily interact with other users on forums and get help from CFD experts. Open Foam is however Linux based, and without experience with Linux programming, it might take longer to become used to the software compared to other CFD software programs. It is however worth investing the time. I will now show you some examples of simulations run in Open Foam, to give you an idea of the capabilities of the software. For example, the software can be used to simulate external aerodynamics, around complex geometries, such as a cyclist. Open Foam is also capable of solving multi-phase flows. For example, a bottle, initially filled with air, can be filled with water. The filling of the bottle can be simulated with either laminar or turbulent flow. The software can also be used for stress analysis. For example, a stress analysis can be conducted on a plate which is loaded with a uniform traction at the left face, as shown in the figure. The software also includes solvers to calculate heat transfer. This can be applied to simulate the flow inside a mixer vessel. In this example, the vessel contains cold water. Hot oil enters as droplets through a sparger towards the base of the vessel. The images show the results for the dispersed oil phase. This is only a selection of the possibilities in Open Foam. More examples can be found on the Open Foam website. Now, an overview of the contents of the tutorials will be given. In tutorial 2, the basic viewings controls in Insight 10.1 are shown. Insight can be used to view the geometry, the mesh, and to post process the results from Open Foam. Enable to use Open Foam you need to register for the Bluebear cluster. The registration process is given in Tutorial 3. Tutorial 4 will show you how you could access Open Foam and which software you need to install on your own machine. In the next tutorial, a simple simulation example is given. This tutorial will show you all the required steps to run a simple simulation on Bluebear. In the example we will simulate a lid-driven cavity flow. In tutorial 6, the results of the aforementioned cavity case are post-processed in InSight. To improve the accuracy of the cavity case simulation, the mesh resolution will be increased in tutorial 7. In tutorial 8, a multi-phase flow example will be given. In this example we will solve the breaking of a dam. Finally, the last tutorial will show you how to submit a parallel open foam job on Blue Bear. This was a brief introduction of open foam. In the next tutorial I will show you some basic viewings controls in InSight.